Hi and welcome to the channel. I'm Mel and today's video is about ideas for Beltane. Things you can make and things that won't look like you've made them any other reason than they look pretty. First I'm going to do the colours so that you know the colours. So you could have yellow, white, green, red, purple, orange and silver. That's grey but I'm taking that as silver for this video. So those are the colours that are associated with Beltane so you could use any number of those colours in different ways. First off, where do I go? I'll go down here for a minute. Now, bread. So I made this, and I've had to do this video because we want to eat this tonight. Um, because it's very early, isn't it? I'm doing this a month early for you so that you can gather stuff. This bread um, is a knot, as you can see. I've plaited it, sorry, not a knot, it's a plait because Beltane is all about fertility and union. It's also a fire festival, so if you can have a barbecue in the back garden, that's fantastic, and if you bonfire, even better. So the bread, I just made it from the packet, from the yeast packet, so I didn't follow any special recipe, I just took it from the yeast packet in case you've never made bread before and would like to give it a go. I then, let it rise the first time, knocked it back, so kneaded it again, split it into three and rolled it out and just plaited it. Let it rise again, popped it in the oven for 25 minutes. So that you can also make a phallus shape, men, man's genitalia shape bread but I can't show you that on here because obviously YouTube is not going to like that. I also was going to put it into our Facebook group, but again, Facebook are not going to like that. It would need to be censored, so there's no point in showing it you. Next, if making bread, having a bonfire or a barbecue is not something that you can do. Now, I've just done this. Figure of eight. Hand festing is done at this time of year and if you don't know with hand festing the wrists are tied with um, rope probably a better word than that but and a figure of eight around to join as a union so I've just done the figure of eight on my two fingers closed it round and I popped it on a button now that's not doesn't look very pretty but that can go into your bag as I was doing that, I was saying my spell. So you could, obviously it's fertility, it's for new life. So if you have new projects, it doesn't have to mean being pregnant, physically pregnant. It can mean the birth of a new project, the development of your goals. That's what I've done with that one. Quite quite easy as I say and I just tied them on the end I've not finished it off because um, this is just to show for you you to see how they're done another one now this is a curtain pole ring that I don't use exactly the same thing only this time I've tied a piece of wool in the middle and my wool going round the edges went over, under the piece of wood in the middle, over this side, round, over the piece of wood this time, and then over. So you're just going over, under, over, under. It, ooh, it is a figure of eight. Nearly dropped it, caught it. So this one is actually done for a spell and it's done for the crops. This year so I always do one for abundance crops for all the farmers and that's that one for this year that's just another idea for the button one you've also got 
these so I've, I've literally just done this this morning whilst i was waiting for my little apprentice to turn up so her mum could work so there's a ribbon version that has got nothing in it as i say i literally quick done that to show you how you can do it with different materials with whatever you've got here's one also that i done this morning but this one is to show you so let's see if i can do it backwards you've got your two lines which as you can see i've just tied off and i'm going to go over the green string around and through the white this is where i have to try and do it backwards there is your first part of your figure of eight i'm going to do it again with the green so over the white around the back through the green loop push it up and there's your figure of eight so as you are doing this you can be weaving in your spell whichever it is your goals your wishes I'm trying to pull this one up for you there we go and you can pop that either in your bag on a key ring hanging up on your altar if you are allowed to have an altar if you can openly practice if not this is a perfect way of creating a spell that nobody would know you could pop two key ring ends on each end and nobody would know what that was so there's another idea for you going on to the flower crown pardon me may day is when the may queen is chosen or it was the, the goddess that turns to the queen so it's the may queen now, i have made this wreath bottom simply because i had some willow that i needed to use up because it's been a long time in the garage the only thing i've had to buy are the flowers simply because i'm doing this in march and there aren't many flowers not many daisies which you can also make a little daisy chain for your wrist as well all i've done with this is i've used floristry wire not very neat at the back and just wired all of the stuff on and i've used floristry tape just so that it doesn't catch my hair when it goes on my head obviously if you've never wore a flower crown before people are going to look at you rather weird so it can be a spring wreath to hang on your door again as you're doing this you can put your spell into this a spell is just an intention with meaning behind it so you can do that as you wrap a tie around there is your spell so that's your flower crown these are the flowers by the way that I got yes they've got plastic in them yes I really didn't want them but actually they're a really really good value from Amazon they were only nine pounds and I got six huge bunches and as you can see from this that flower crown has not used very many at all the maypole if you've watched my videos you will see the maypole has has been in the last video but this time I have managed to wrap it round that took hence why it's only that tiny bit that took something like four hours my recommendation if you're going to make a maypole don't use too many ribbons because it's okay when you were young if you're as old as me and you danced around the maypole because it, you had one each now I've made a new one. Now I did do a video of me making this, but it didn't come out very well. So this is a miniature one to go into my new altar. 
there are those flowers again. This I just made with the Little Apprentice um, at Christmas when we done the salt dough. And I've made, because I had no holder for my cherry branch that I needed to prune anyway, I made air dry clay grass stand and I already had those little buttons. So let me tell you what it what it needs. The problem with this is though is that the butterfly has made it top heavy so it keeps falling. So here we go. So you have got your air dry clay bottom. You don't have to, you can make it more pretty. You know me, if you're not very good at craft um, or you've never had a go at it before, then I just do it very quickly so that you can see. So there's the clay. This is a hobby craft one and this was, I'm sure was a pound. It might have been two. So I used that. Obviously, as I said, I already had my stick. I will say, if you're going to give this a go, if you've still got cling film in your house, pop some cling film around your stick. If not, I propped foil, which doesn't come out quite as well, just so that you can get your stick out because the clay does stick to the stick as it's drying. You're going to need corrugated cardboard, a circle. I just use a sub box and lengths of ribbon. If you are going to try and plait it, then you need to have them in pairs because you'll be doing A and B. So that's a top tip for you to how, to, how many you need. I hot glue gun the top on, glued on my ribbons and then popped those flowers on the top. You can, I could actually try and do the uh, weaving and the plaiting of this. If you want to have a go, you need to have an A and a B. So when I done the big one, I had paper clips on my A's ribbons and my B ribbons were free of anything. And so A goes past the left shoulder if if it's humans doing it. So that was under for me because I was going anti-clockwise. So that was under and then A goes over. But you have to do each separate pair first. So you have to do all your A's under and then all your A's over to get that effect. I have an empty table, apart from if you only have one piece of cord, we have our, um, if you have the sub box, let me show you cord that's it and now uh, we have our pendants and you don't use it as a necklace you could you actually use that cord to do one so if that's all you've got you just bring it over pop it into your thumb and then start so let me just see if i can work out which is which so over the front, behind, through the loop and pull. I'll just do that one more time for you. Over the front, then we go behind, ooh, all fingers. So behind, through the loop. and pull. And that's it. I hope this has helped. It's given you some ideas. Obviously, you've got some really bright colours that you can use. So it doesn't have to look drab. 
the maypoles are my favourite. I do like making those for some reason. Bread, as I say, if you've never made it, give it a go. That is a brilliant way. If you're doing, sorry, your spell work, got itch. If you're doing your spell work with your bread, do it as you're mixing it, as you're kneading it. Always leave an offering out side and enjoy your bread. I hope this has helped. I hope it's given you some ideas of things that you can do if you can't openly practice or if you can openly practice. I hope it's given you little ideas that are quick and easy to do. You can have colourful, uh, you can have a keyring with colourful uh, strands coming off it of different things that you've your spell work on there you could hang that on your altar you could hang it on your key ring and take it with you wherever you go thanks for watching please let me know in the comments what you thought of the video if i've given you any inspiration this time or if it's not for you please like the video if you enjoyed the content if you haven't yet please consider subscribing about a quarter of the people that watch our videos aren't subscribers and it would really help us if you just press that subscribe button if you do want notification of when i upload a video if you press the bell button it will tell you i upload once or if there's a bonus video twice a week on a friday and saturday thank you i'll see you next time bye